back to Texas not gonna be a fun trip but uh it's a lot I'll explain driving to Houston again um, it seems really unfortunate every time I go there it's for some kind of family emergency or something tragic but that just seems to be the case my wallet fell out definitely gonna need that <clears throat> seems a little tragic that every time I have to go to Houston I'm kind of going for something sad or you know somebody being sick but you know, this time, uh, man, this this is gonna be a really hard trip for me. My best friend growing up is, ooh, how do I say this? Okay. This is the story of man's best friend, or in better words, my best friend, French fry. So growing up, I didn't have a lot of friends, and when I was about 10 years old, my mom had this great idea to get me a dog. Little did I know, this would not only be a dog, this would truly be my closest and dearest friend. Through the turmoils of being a teenager and all the other drama went through my life, sometimes French Fry was the only person I had to talk to. And if it's not obvious, we were completely inseparable. As years would go by, uh, the bad days would come, the good days would come, but I would always have French Fry to talk to. But sadly, I grew up, and around 19 years old, I joined the Air Force, and I had to leave French Fry behind with my aunt. Being in the military, you have to put a lot of things on the back burner, and it really sucks. Because it wasn't until three years later that I would actually get to see French Fry again. And when I saw her, she had gotten pretty old. I had lost some hair, and her hair turned gray. This trip was probably the hardest trip I've ever had to make in my life. Not only was I going to, you know, put French Fry down, but I was also having to say goodbye forever to my closest friend and I knew this wasn't going to be easy but I wanted to be there for her before she left. Now first and foremost I have to throw a big thank you out there for my aunt. Um, the amount of money and time and just like heart she has put into my dog is uh, truly inspiring and I will never be able to repay that debt for her for watching my dog and all the vet bills that she had to pay. So, 17 years old, I finally got the phone call from my aunt that it's probably about time for French Fry to, for us to let go of French Fry. I'm driving to Texas right now uh, to go see French Fry. Um, it's gonna be a real emotional video, guys, so bear with me. Uh, like, truly my best friend in the entire world, so. 10 hour drive to Houston, here goes nothing. I think I nailed it. I think. All right, let's go. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know what yet though. Nope, I have everything, let's go. And if I forget something, I'm not coming back because this drive, ha <laughs> ha. Um, I'm only two hours in and I've already made like three stops, so I'm doing great. All right guys, so we're probably about an hour 25 from my aunt's house in Houston. 
there's gonna be like a huge storm coming through. I, I don't know how to feel about that. I, whatever storm to them is, it could be completely different from what I'm thinking. But we're almost there and that's all that matters. I am kind of wasting a little time stopping to, you know, talk right here. But check out this, this rest stop, man. It's actually, whoa. There's like a park right over there. It's pretty awesome. I don't know, quick little stop. I thought that was pretty cool. They have like a park, an indoor like bathroom. Not a lot of rest stops have that. I mean, if anybody's ever traveled cross country, dude, finding a good rest stop, I mean, they're mostly nice, but one without the rain and like the serial killers standing on the outside smoking cigarettes, hard to find. All right, let's get back to the drive. We made it and um yep gate's still here random animals are still here french fry is here and i'm so excited to see her um i just need to wait for somebody to open the gate for me i think or maybe i do it i think i do it okay i'm gonna get out open the gate you guys can watch Awesome. Let's go see the family after an entire year. As a matter of fact, I think my last vlog I did when I came here was a year ago. And I have a new camera too, so this is like really cool. Anniversary. Word. There we go. I think I'm just gonna go in. Where's she at? Yeah. Is she sleeping? She's about to get working. Hi, Jojo. No, it's for the vlog. It's okay. It's it's a video. It's better. <laughs> no, but my ca my camera makes people beautiful. So old, I can feel your skin. Your skin's so old. You used to be such a rambunctious little puppy. You know that. When I saw you, I was like, "You are mine." I've never thought that I would get close because she doesn't, you know, she wasn't mine, and I didn't want it close because I didn't know if he was gonna come and take her any minute. I knew you were gonna fall in love with her. Oh my God! I, I love. Everybody loves french fry. Everybody does. I go to the vet and everybody loves her. Everybody loves french fry. Cause she's so, she's probably, she's been there for what now? Like seven, seven years? Uh, six, I think. Everybody just loves her. You think you get lucky french fry? Just like hook it up. Grab some of that prime rib. Hi huh, baby. You can't even hear me, I don't know why I'm doing that. I keep forgetting you're deaf. All right, so um, it's day two here. Uh, French fries, obviously really, really old. And it's definitely time for her to go. I'm just running errands around with the family right now, hanging out with my brother. He goes to Austin, so. There he is. There he is. Cameron. Cam Cameron's flying the drone right now. With my experience over the years with Cameron, my older brother, he'll probably uh probably wreck it, so I'm kind of quenching my butt cheeks right now.
barn. Go over to Nana's. Will I go over there? Yeah, let me see. Should. How do I center it? Because I don't know where the it is. Wait, wait. Tilt it back down to where you see the horse barn. Okay, just move forward. <laughs> no, I'm taking a video, you know. If you're traveling in the North Country Fair, where the winds hit heavy on the borderline, remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Once was a true love of mine.